Hey everyone, welcome to another video. This one's going to kind of be a follow-up to the previous one that I did for Need for Speed Underground. Uh, the one that I did with that one showed the, uh, you know, the extended options, the widescreen fixes. A lot of people were having issues with the, uh, the game crashing. Uh, I believe I've actually narrowed that down to a, uh, a specific no CD. Uh, and also a, a feature, the, there's the built-in line in the uh, widescreen fix where it says, you know, you can activate it and have the game run at one affinity uh, to stop the game from crashing. I found out that on my game, at least, that did not work. So I had to find another way around to do that. Uh, I have showed that on previous videos on how to do that with the batch file. So what I'm going to do is show you how to install the game stock without doing the fancy stuff of the, uh, you know, the extended versions and the... Uh, you know the other widescreen options we're going to do this a different way and i found out that on my system it did not crash when i ran it this way uh, so if you guys are interested go ahead and open up your browser keep in mind you do need either an image of the game or the physical cd itself to get that installed and seeing how this is an older game uh it does have the old school uh, you know drm so it will not work stock uh install on windows 10 you will need a uh, no cd patch so just keep that in mind i cannot tell you get that but as you know google is your friend so just look up a no cd patch for the game and you should be able to find that pretty easy so let's go ahead we're going to go to three websites here this one's going to be another way to widescreen uh patch the game so let's go ahead over here that'll be in the description just scroll down to right here you're going to download that zip file uh unitws.zip download that to your downloads folder then we're going to head to here and get the no intro patch this one's uh an option you don't need it it's just kind of annoying to have to look at the movie every time you load the game so this will bypass the intro movie and jump you you know straight into the menu uh, so feel free to get this one if you need it also and then this one here is the uh what they call patch four it's technically the 1.4 patch for the game but you will need this also so just click on download this file put that in your downloads folder and with those three files we should be good to go now play close attention to the video because there is certain things if you miss, uh, it may make the game crash for you or not look as intended. So keep an eye on the video. So with that said, you can go ahead and close your browser. Uh, you should have those three files downloaded, plus the no CD that you're gonna need for the game. So what I'm gonna do here, just open up the folder that has the game and then the zip files that we just downloaded. So just go ahead and right click on those, extract them to their own folder. So you should end up with three folders once you've done that. Just go ahead and delete the zip files. So this is your game install here. So what we're going to do is go to uh, the patch. First thing you're going to do is install this patch. Super easy. Just double click on it. Uh, if you install the game, you know, legit from an ISO image, you know, or the physical CD or DVD, you shouldn't have any issue with the patch finding the correct location. Should uh, double launch that, you know, double click and install that and you should be good to go. Uh, the next thing we are going to do here is the no intro. This one is the optional one, so you can just go ahead and copy this folder over here to the game directory, and that'll override the uh, intro movie for you, so it'll jump you right into the menu. And then we're going to need this one here. So for this one here, make sure you have both of the files. Uh, it's not going to work unless this patch is that I and I file is in there. So this will work for both Need for Speed Underground and Need for Speed Underground 2. So go ahead and double click on that click on run it matter of fact let's play safe let's run this as administrator and then we're going to go on here and it has the game supports up here so you need to choose the one you want in this case need for speed underground so click on that then you're just going to point to the location where your game is installed so find that on your hard drive then once you find that just go ahead And proceed here to the uh, thing. So this is literally tell you, you know, that it needs to be the, uh, and it needs to be the correct version as I told you earlier. So if you try it on the original, it won't work. And then you need to make sure when you launch your game to get this to work properly, you want to set the resolution to 640 by 480. So if the resolution is anything different than this, you need to change it within the game. Uh, so not right now. What we're gonna do is go in here. Once you have that folder selected, you should be good because it, it should find it for you. Then you can put the resolution that you want on here. So I'm doing 1920 by 1080. So just put those numbers in here. 
uh, you know, whatever version or whatever resolution you want, you can go ahead and click it on there. And then once you're done, you're going to go ahead and click on patch and it should do it for you straight away. Once it tells you that that is done, uh, the game is good to go to launch. Now, before you launch the game, this is the uh, what I did to get this Affinity one to work correctly for me. Uh, what you want to do is right click inside your folder. You're going to create a new uh, text file here. So for some odd reason, it's not letting me make one there. So let's see over here. There we go. So just go ahead and make yourself a new text file. Paste that in the game that has the folder. And we're going to make some changes to that. So here is the actual file that I have. So this is what you're going to put in there. You're going to copy this. This will be in the uh, description. So just copy that into a new text file. You're going to paste that like that. This is going to tell the game to run under one uh, core which is core zero, and that should get rid of the issue of the game crashing for you. Uh, you guys, if you've played it before, you'll notice the game will start running fine. Then maybe after a few minutes, it'll crash. So this should fix that for you. I can't guarantee it, but it did fix it for me. So we'll go ahead and try this out. Once you have that, uh, you know, typed in there or pasted, you're going to go ahead and go click a file, save as, and you're going to make sure this is set to all files. Then just call that, you know, preferably the name of the game, you know, nfsu.bat, or you can spell it out completely. I won't do it again because mine's just already in there. But once you've done that, you're good to go. And then we're going to go ahead and launch the game here, and we shouldn't have any issues. So I'm going to use the batch file to launch that. And as you can see, it went straight into the menu. Uh, you are seeing the reshade. Uh, you know words come up on there so this is compatible with reshade uh just a quick heads up if you use reshade the uh beginning of the game you're what you're looking at right now is rendered in 640 by 480 so what you want to do is wait to actually physically jump into the game if you're going to use reshade so you can see the effects of the uh you know the settings you pick on the actual game and not on the screen <clears throat> all right so let's go ahead and jump in there So I'm just going to go ahead and load this here real quick. So what you want to do is make sure once again that you go in here. You want to make sure that, that your display right here is set to 640 by 480. If it's different, the game will not render properly. It'll look like, you know, stretched image instead of the uh, proper, you know, white screen aspect that's, that'll happen if you do set it to 640 by 480. Then on here, you want to go ahead and set up your other features. So you can go ahead and, you know, depending on your system, you can go ahead and set everything as high as, you know, as you want on the uh, effects here. So that's what I have it on. We'll go ahead and launch this real quick. And as you'll notice, it will not crash. So let's just go through here really quick. And as you can see, the game does render properly because we did the, uh, you know, proper... Uh, display settings is 640 by 480 because remember it's going to be dependent of the actual uh the uni ws uh, patch for the white screen now if you have a keen eye you'll notice that the reflections on the bottom are uh higher than normal so i do have a patch installed on here that will uh, uh you know make the reflections look a little bit better so if you don't use that patch, it's not going to look as bright on the floor. But, you know, just so you know, in case you notice that, that that's what uh, is set on here. So as you can see, the game works fine. There's no issue with the gameplay at all. And it does run at 60 frames per second. So that is it for this video. If you guys were having the issue where the game would crash uh, for you when you launch it, uh, definitely make sure that you do the, uh, you know, the uh, white screen patch how I showed you and also make that batch file according to the instructions and you should be good to go. If you guys have any more questions, go ahead and leave a comment. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and we will catch you later. Have a great day.